the kid that arrived at the club as a as a as a draftee, I imagine he's quite different to the man about to tuck into some honey <laughs> toast. Yeah, well, I mean that was ten years ago now, so that goes quick. Footy was very much a fun thing that you did on the weekend, yeah, and that was it. So to be able to view football as a full-time career was totally foreign and I was pretty keen to come in, make a bit of money, get a few extra followers on Facebook, <laughs> <laughs> enjoy having a kick. Uh, and that was as far as it went. So you weren't a fanatic? Definitely not. No, I wrestled long and hard early days with the you've got to be a professional athlete thing. Uh, it didn't make sense to me. Was it the demands of it or was it the the critiquing and the just professional life. Well, the video was the first thing. I had no idea <laughs> what sort of a footy player I was until they started showing me these different angles and I'm going, that's not what I'm doing, is it? And they yeah, that's you there. And so that was like, well, okay. Uh, and then you go to that deeper conversation of what are we, what actually are we, what are we doing playing footy? But why, how is this helping us evolve in any way? Like we're yeah. not saving lives. They're pretty big. We're not, and this is, these are the thoughts a... that have, somewhat crippled me my whole life. Yeah. Because we're playing footy <laughs> and I'm getting paid a lot of money to do it and I'm devoting my whole life to it, but... What's the greater, the greater meaning What is to that? It? And so that, that <laughs> led me down the garden path a number of times. Have you, have you come to any peace with that? Mm. Very much so. I mean, I've publicly spoken about Brett Kirk along the way. But he was more just like a big human mirror and just get me to look back at myself and go, OK, what are you doing here? How's that affecting people? Yeah. How's that affecting you? Yeah. I know, I've, I know Kirky a little bit. We played on each other quite a bit, played together in international rules. I was kind of drawn to him. It, it, it comes as no shock to me that you two found each other. <laughs> Both weirdos. Well, <laughs> in, the football, in the football sphere, yeah. It doesn't take much in football. You, are not, you, you would know as well as anyone. It doesn't take much, for example, for a, a young player to be branded as, he's a bit out there, because there's a lot of short back and sides. I got sledged on the field the other day. <laughs> <laughs> this is good, I like this. A, pl a player's gone, mate, stop being such an individual. <laughs> 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 and I wow, wasn't, what I wasn't, a criticism. I wasn't sure what wow, I caught him, but I sort of puffed up and said, what'd you say? He said, stop being such an individual. And I chuckled to myself and I said, that is one of the great compliments you could ever give me. Wow. So is part of your routine to get up, go to the beach, is that something that gives you balance? Yeah, definitely. Constantly examining yourself and where you're at mentally. Uh, and using all the tools that you can through meditation, through routine, ritual. So the beach, for example, uh, you can look at it from lots of different angles. Some people who start the day with a cold shower or the beach, as I do, say that you achieve something. The first thing that you do in the day is an achievement, so the rest of the day comes easier. And so there's elements of that. Yeah. Um, but for me, it's what I do. It's so ritualised in what I do that without it, I can lose a little bit of guidance in my day. Yeah. What's the first thing I do if I don't do that? But the meditation stuff you can take wherever you are and you can do the more active side of it where you can catch yourself at any moment in a meeting as your mind's starting to drift in a game. Don't meditate in one of Ross's meetings. Yeah, well, <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone ever fallen asleep in his meeting? You don't have to name names. We had one guy who was on a... Um, program to keep him more alert during meetings because he dozed. <laughs> so he, <laughs> he was on a program. <laughs> which included pressure point and chewing spearmint gum. <laughs> and there was one other thing I can't remember. This, this is real, this is real life. This sounds, he had to go and see our site and develop a, little bit of a program. We had a guy a couple of weeks ago who has come from another club, so you can probably work out who that is, and he was doing his shoelaces up midway through a speech from Ross pre-game. <laughs> he won't be doing his shoelaces up again during his speech. Again. 